Hello gamers and welcome to the latest scintillating edition of Almost Gaming. We are just a few weeks away from the excitement of the E3 convention, but I'll be talking more about our coverage of that next week. For now, let's take a look at the hottest gaming headlines this week. Yet another Witcher 3 headline, but thankfully this time we're not talking about Microsoft tricking us into thinking that PC footage is Xbox One footage. This time we're talking about PC gamers tricking the game itself into thinking its characters are naked. Yep, that's right. After just about a day or so of the game being out, PC modders have figured out how to get the clothes off of the game's main characters. If you would like to do the same, head over to Tech Jeep to find out what to do. Though, being warned, rumor has it that Geralt's character model doesn't have a, let's just say, sword. Nintendo's innovative Amiibo line of game-enhancing figurines drew early praise, from the fantastic look of the toys to their creative integration into gameplay. Well, the shine has started coming off of this line due to what some see as artificial scarcity. Nintendo is apparently providing very few of the figurines, especially the desperately sought after ones, in their shipments to stores. This led Amazon recently to adopt a very odd sales tactic, releasing the latest wave of figurines one at a time in half hour increments. This was also the last straw for some reviewers, such as the recently independent Jim Sterling, who said that he has stopped collecting the figurines and will stop covering their integrations into games that he reviews. A sad bit of gaming news here that shows that gaming rumors can sometimes just be too good to be true. Konami recently got horror gaming fans excited with P.T., a playable teaser that ended up being for Silent Hills, a plus S addition to the Silent Hill series, produced by Hideo Kojima and starring Walking Dead celeb Norman Reedus. However, it recently came to light that Kojima will be leaving Konami after the upcoming Metal Gear title, and the game was then cancelled and PT was taken down. However, hope shown on the horizon in a rumor that Microsoft was planning to pick up the property to snag it as an Xbox One exclusive, even prepared to spend billions on it. However, sadly that rumor was debunked by Microsoft's Phil Spencer on Twitter, as reported by Techno Buffalo on Saturday, saying he didn't want to get fans' hopes up. This could still happen, possibly announced as an E3 surprise, but for now, I wouldn't get your hopes up. The news coming out of Sony has been pretty overwhelmingly positive lately, so a negative headline coming from there is a bit surprising, especially when it comes straight from the horse's mouth. Or should I say the house's mouth? DualShockers tells us that during the Electronics Investor Relations Day, Sony Computer Entertainment's CEO was surprisingly reserved about titles on the PS4. He said that the company was focusing in 2015 on drumming up third-party support since their first party lineup was, quote, a little sparse, end quote. He also said Sony was having trouble scoring full third-party exclusives, so they've been focusing on at least scoring partial exclusives, such as early play or focus on the PS4's unique features, such as shared play. Do you miss the days of owning physical cartridges for your games, looking at that beautiful cover art, slapping that baby into the console to play, or even blowing on the contacts trying to get it to work? Well, someone knows how you feel. Mike Kennedy, publisher of Retro Magazine, is taking his idea for the retro video game system to Kickstarter. The Retro VGS will take original 2D games, think Shovel Knight, as well as 16-bit fan-favorite sequels, whatever that means, and ports of popular mobile games and put them on physical cartridges, according to an article on Silicon Era. As Yahtzee of Zero Punctuation once pointed out, physical cartridges ran circles around discs and downloaded titles in terms of loading times, and also ensure no system updates or buggy games. The system is not yet on Kickstarter, but does have a Facebook page you can follow for updates. If this does become a thing, a little tip. I always had better luck blowing on the contacts through my shirt. That's going to do it for this edition of Almost Gaming. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and to tune in next time. Until then, game on.